Hey, Deshaun, how you doing? Good morning. Um, Hudson went down today. Obviously, a knee injury. We'll get more information once we uh, run through tests. Other than that, offense looked pretty good. They're making plays. I just like that we kept competing. You know, it was a little bit of adversity during practice, but they kept competing the whole time. So I enjoyed that. Uh, defense is, there's a lot of energy over there. So I like the way that they're playing. I just want to see us just keep, just keep taking us to that next level each practice that we come out with. Uh, I think the atmosphere is good. We got a lot of recruits coming in and out of the building. You doing all right, Coach? Yeah. Um, you know, injuries bother me. See you guys go down. It's unfortunate, very unfortunate. You know, contact stuff too. So mm -hmm. it's just, uh, I'm just down, just just for those guys. I've been a player, so I know how it feels. And truly, you know, when you work so hard for something, the opportunity is taken away. It also looked like uh, Brandon Hagen kind of might have gotten an early injury, an early injury in practice. Uh, yeah, can you um, talk about that? Yeah, he all? was he was coming off of a hamstring. So he might have tweeted again. I haven't talked to him yet. And then J. Mike was kind of off to the side doing some individual work. But what is his status? Um, we're just waiting. Just he, like I said, what was that last Saturday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was running hot from last Saturday, so he's still just okay. taking the precaution. He was running and stuff on the side, mm -hmm. so yeah, he was being active. But we didn't really want people pulling on him. And him running. Gotcha. And how is uh, Rico kind of doing there in his place on the, with the offense? Um, Rico's doing a great job. He's a hell of a player. Um, very consistent, you know, the type of kid that uh, you just want on your team. Consistent, tough, doesn't say much, just comes out here and works, you know, lets his, uh, lets his body of work do his talking work. You had um, coaches feeling punts at the end. Was that part of the schedule today, or you, you got in to add some levity? Oh, no, that was, uh, you know, we had uh, Saturday's competition day, so they were up there for part of the competition group. We just hopefully they could have caught the first one. There. <laughs> Could have got, got a, a little better punts, but we'll probably use the jugs. I just wanted to, I want a competitive atmosphere with coaches and players. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So just not, you're always on the players. Like, let's get the right. coaches in there too. And, you know, that's how you build true camaraderie. You know, you got guys that are pulling for the coaches. Everybody's, you saw how the whole defense ran with Cody down mm -hmm. the line. So, you know, it's just, a, it's just something that you just try to bring the guys closer. If any of the coaches have any availability, you gonna know, throw them in? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we keep having injuries, it might happen. So. I, I was, so. I was kind of curious why uh, we didn't see you out there returning. Um, you didn't want to embarrass him? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we know what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, don't, I don't necessarily, I'm just kidding. I almost caught one, I was thinking about it. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm the only one who didn't get one of your robocalls. Uh, well, the, uh, I'm, I'm kidding. Oh, but, okay, I was going to say, you get him on the list. <laughs> um, you know, what was the message there, and uh, why did you feel that was important? To, uh, Just to reach out to, to alumni, donors, the community, just to let them know, like, hey, come be around us, come out here, come to the Rose Bowl, come support what we're doing. You know, I just, I'm just trying ways to engage with the community. You know, it's um, especially right now when I'm locked in here all the time. Mm -hmm. just, so just ways I can get out just to, to voice stuff and let people know, like, hey, you are welcome to. And we've seen some coordinated tweets from the coaches. Is that kind of like the new boom when, when those go out? Is that kind of what that is? Or Yeah, I don't even know what boom is. But, <laughs> <laughs> yes, when we have something that's important going out, you should see those. Gotcha. Okay. Is there any name to it? Yeah, it's just, a, just it, it got you guys' attention, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. We didn't even name anything. So yeah, just stay nameless, and you know, when you see that, there's some great UCLA information coming out from football. Awesome. How, uh, how do you measure competitive drive? I mean, we see them going at it all the time, but what do you look for to really set people apart competitively? It's really like if you compete in that classroom, honestly. You know? That's my biggest thing because they should compete out here. They like this, but it's the little things. Are you competing and taking notes in the, in the film? Are you competing and watching? Are you competing to be the first one in the building in the position? You see what I'm saying? Like, so we keep track of all this stuff. It's a, I'm just big on competition. You know, I always try to build them in my back room. Just always have them be friends, but you guys are going to compete at a high level. And 
was trying to bring it to the whole team. But competing everything different. Uh, when I was a running back coach, I used to tell the running backs, we better be the first group in the building, no matter, who. No matter what time you had to be there, we were to be the first group. The other coaches had no idea that it was a competition. <laughs> you guys see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. They had no idea. Mm -hmm. But it, for us and the running backs, it was a competition every day. We got to be the first group in the building. So I just it's just little things that build the competition. And then if you're living a life of competition, it's easy. Right? Mm -hmm. Who lives the life of competition? Right now? Yeah. Um, I'm going to say Swifty, Rico Flores, um, Carlin. The whole tight end room is pretty good. They get in there really early. Um, defensively, let's go Femi. Like I said, everybody's gonna compete out here on the field, but like tucking your shirt in. You know, I have my shirt tucked in the best. I'm just, uh, I know it sounds silly, but that's just how I do a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like the stuff you don't see. Exactly. Yeah. Coach, I wanted to ask you about Cam Adrano. Obviously, he's one of the veterans, and uh, it looks like he's stepping up with both leadership and competitiveness. What, what have you seen from him? He's doing a great job. You know, Cam's been here for a while, so he knows what is missing, basically. You know, you've seen a lot. And when you've seen a lot and you've been on both sides of the ball, mm -hmm. it's kind of easy to, to get out here and voice your opinion. But I like that he's being more of a vocal leader, like you said. You know, a lot of these guys lead by example, but this year is truly you're seeing guys trying to take that next step and being a leader and just trying to be bold. So I appreciate what Kenny's doing and hopefully we can just continue to grow in that role. I think uh, this is the last time we'll talk to you before the portal opens. We talked about um, you know what positions you'll be looking at. Now that we're real close, can you give us any kind of insight as to what you're going to be targeting there? Yeah, I'm looking for bigs on both sides of the ball, so uh, O-line and D-line. Tight end, or maybe a running back, a couple of DBs. Obviously. Quarterback? Maybe a quarterback. Okay. It just it, it just depends. I have like a six positions that I want to address, and then best available after that. So. And then the flip side of that is obviously your guys could go in. Do you do you kind of talk to them and re recruit them in a way? Um, yeah, I mean most of the guys that go to the portal do come talk to me before they leave or whatnot. So. I will have a conversation with our guards, but like you said, you got to retain kids, you have to recruit the new ones, you got to recruit the ones that are on your team, and it's just part of the game right now. Are you anticipating, uh, you know, ha losing some guys? I, I, no, I mean, I'm anticipating losing nobody, I hope, <laughs> but, you know, it's part of the game, so if it does happen, it, it is what it is, but uh, hopefully, you know, this team stays pretty intact and we'll be able to make it through the portal. What are your um, sorry? What are your early impressions of Stacy Ford and just the recruiting staff and how they've been doing early I, on? I love everything that the recruiting staff is doing. You know, uh, that's them that's getting a lot of these kids out here multiple times. You know, we're having kids come back every weekend, three weeks in a row. So we're, we're charting all of this stuff. I appreciate what they're doing for us, and uh, I'm just excited that we're you know we're able to put a product out here that people want to come see and be a part of. Seven on sevens today, we're six on eights. What was the impetus of that? Is that something you guys have, is this the first time you've done that? Or is that something that's been kind of part of practice? No, just weeks? just kind of what defenses uh, they were running. You know what I mean? So if they had other guys, other people dropping, we just had a ticket for it. Any position changes you're kind of experimenting with? Like, who's going to edge a little bit? Keegan's back at running back. Anybody else like that? No, not like that. King is a running back now, so. He was literally a receiver last season, so he's back mm -hmm. in the running back room, technically. And then Femi's just, you know, he's a big, just a big, strong, fast kid. So I mean, you know, if you can use him in multiple positions, go ahead. You know, he's a great athlete that can do multiple things. Uh, looked like uh, Justin had some, you know, pretty bright moments, especially early in this week. What did you think about his week overall? Justin's playing really well. You know, I constantly see him up there in the, on the third floor, so he's constantly trying to get knowledge. He's a very smart kid. He loves the game. That's why he works so hard at it. So I'm just glad that he's, he's here and playing with him. Uh, Ali Cajo, who is out there doing what looked like agility, 
drills or something? Is he close to participating in practice fully? Yeah, uh, next week you should see. Uh, number one should be flying around. And Thank you guys. Oh, thanks, guys. Thank you.